What's up, Scrappy Peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill. And I've got a little bonus video this week because I was meant to edit and upload this video on Wednesday, but I didn't get a chance to voice over it in time. Um, but I wanted to do a little extra video because on Wednesday it was my Nana's 90th birthday. And I had this layout that I filmed a while ago uh, and this was her 89th birthday when we went out for lunch and so I thought it was appropriate to upload it on her birthday. So this is a really, really quick and easy layout to put together. Um, it came together so easily and I think the trick was the big photos. Big photos make such a difference when you're trying to catch up on scrapbooking and you just want to get some layouts done. It takes up a lot more real estate on your page and so the page just comes together a lot quickly. A lot more quickly, sorry. So I thought I was going to not upload this video because it's just, it's very simple, um, but I thought I'd, we'd take a little chance to chat about catching up because I'd be interested to know in the comments who is up to date with their scrapbooking as in they've they've scrapbooked let's say up until the last month so the last month might not be done but you you're pretty on top of everything you want to do before that and who is feels like they're behind and how behind do you feel that you are so this I recently uh, last week yes was it last week yeah I finished my 2018 albums and they were something that were it was really frustrating me I I was so tempted to abandon them so tempted but I I haven't finished 2017 and so I thought come on Adele you can you have no you can finish 2018 no excuses you just got to really get into gear and, and grind down and try and finish them. And I did a couple of things that I found help, helped me out and helped me in um, catching up. So I put, if you haven't seen, I do have one flip through of my 2016 9 by 12 album here on YouTube. And then every month, I uploaded a process uh, a flip through sorry of the rest of my 2016 albums on Patreon and I combine my uh, layouts and my project life all together so it's all chronological in my albums in 2018 I had nine albums I in 20 sorry did I say 2019 I meant 2018 I had nine albums 2017 it's looking like eight or nine but I haven't finished there's about three months missing in 2016 I had eight albums 2015 isn't doesn't exist uh, I think I've got one album for that and then 2014 I had five albums so I'm definitely uh, I definitely do do a lot of albums and I know a lot of people ask how are you going to store them all for now they all fit into an Ikea Calyx um, cube unit thing and I think I, my plan is to one day have our an office or a, a study and just have a wall of albums that that's the dream one day we'll get there uh, but for me I I really like looking back at the chronological scrapbooking and I know that uh, everyone stores their pages and layouts um, in different ways and I'd love to hear how you store yours because I know there's one, is it, is it Stacey Julian? I could be getting that wrong but she had a system where it was like places we go, people we love it was different categories and that's how you categorized your layouts let me know if you do that one and how you find that um, but I I just really like flipping through chronologically because I can see um, the progression in things like moving houses and of course with Archie growing up and new baby girl on the way it's I, it'll be fun to look back on um, but I it's very frustrating to me that there are holes in my albums, especially 2015 and 2017. And I do have a plan to catch up on those. I do. I just need to catch up on the current stuff first, which is, it's just like an endless cycle. Um, but I, earlier this year, 
I did a big batch of couch scrapping. Um, I documented it over on Patreon. Essentially, I put together a, a kit of supplies and I was able to finish 80 Project Life pages in one month. So I got caught up on a lot of stuff. And I think without doing that, I 2018 just would have fizzled out. It, it, I wouldn't have finished it. Uh, and I... I can't recommend couch scrapping enough if you do want to catch up. It's great for project life because you don't need as much space, I feel, like as a layout. Couch scrapping could also just translate into a small kit of supplies uh, scrapping on your kitchen bench or your dining table. It doesn't have to be couch. It's just that I'm lazy and I like the couch. Uh, but with layouts, it's a bit different. I, I don't f – I find that I can't – scrapbook a layout on the couch it just it's a little bit awkward for me the the size and especially if I'm using mixed media it just makes it all a little bit tricky um, and so I had a lot of layouts that I had to catch up on and some of the ways that I caught up on them is that I would do the same format like the same design I guess you could say for uh, several pages. So this one here where I have two four by six photos on top of each other and then a title either down the bottom or across the center. I did several layouts uh, with this same format with a little embellishment cluster to the side or to the other side. And by repeating, kind of scrap lifting yourself, um, it just, it, it allows you to get pages done quickly. And um, if that's your goal, your goal may not be to, get pages done quickly and that's fine these are just tips if you um, feel like you want to catch up and do it in a, a short time period um, but definitely scrap lifting yourself because it, it takes out some of the thinking of where things need to go uh, and also putting yourself together a, a kit um, if you are a new subscriber I know I've had quite a lot of new subscribers since I first released this class but I do have a online class called get kitted um, which is all about creating a kit from your stash and getting a whole heap of layouts done. Um, there's 30 videos, 14 hours of footage, 20 sketches and projects. Um, so the, the links on my website I'll put in the description below. But I think by minimizing the distractions in your supplies, it does help you get stuff done quickly. Another tip is to pre-print all of your photos and put them in those page protectors, get them in there so that they're ready to go. And so you know how many you've got left to go. I find that when I'm flicking through my album, I can see, oh, okay, I've got, you know, 10 PL pages and five layouts left to go. I'm in the mood for some quick scrapping today. So I'll whip out those PL pages and know that I can just keep going on and you even use the same supplies for them uh, to get through them a little bit quicker. Let me think what other tips and tricks do I have to catch up? I think also just understanding that, you know, everyone scrapbooks in a different way. It's time for some hearty shine. Shake, 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 hearty shine, shake, your hearty shine. Uh, I think that trying not to compare yourself to people that are up to date if you feel like you're very behind. I struggle with that. I'm happy to admit that I do struggle and I I feel like it's just doing about what suits you and your, your work-life balance as well, what time you have to scrap um, as well. That it makes a big impact on how you can catch up. So I hope that's kind of helped a little bit and given you some motivation to to return to projects that you may have left or felt like you couldn't ever catch up on something that I I told myself that I gave I gave myself six months to catch up on 2018 before starting 2019 if I hadn't caught up on uh, the 2018 albums by the end of June I was just going to start 2019 and come back to 2018 as often as I can so if that's something that you're struggling with do you keep going with the present or do you go back to the past um, maybe you could do a little bit of both or you could just set yourself a goal give yourself one month to get as much of that past project done as you can and then jump into the new one let me know your tips and tricks below um, but I hope that helped and I'll see you in the next video bye